this year compared to last year? Uh, how much of that is you guys? How much of it is Josh's pocket presence? Honest answer. <laughs> I'd say it's a combination of, the, of both, you know. Uh, he has a really good sense of the pocket, you know, where pressure's coming from, how to react to it. And, you know, we're much better off the time than we were last year. We're older. Like I said, it's all the time. We're veterans now. Like, you know, we've had a lot more practice in our belt, a lot more game experience. And, um, honestly, I'm going to give a lot of credit to Coach Clem. You know, he wasn't here, you know, we were playing for him tonight. And um, he did a great job preparing us for this game. We watched a lot of film from what we made mistakes on from last season. And, you know, we transitioned into this season. You know, they did a lot of games and a lot of stuff. They might have stuck every single play we played, but we were able to handle it this year better because, you know, we just worked on it so much. And he really did a good job getting us prepared for the season. So, I mean, this game. So, that's all for him. How did Josh measure up to your expectations coming into this game? went above and beyond <laughs> whatever I could hope for, you know. At the beginning of the game, he came up to me, I told him, you know, just go out there and let it fly, do your thing, we got your back. You know, we trust you, we believe in you, and, you know, he's, he's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. So I'm proud of him. I'm glad that he came out the way he did, you know, and we'll just get better from here. Was there any single play that just kind of was like a wow moment for you? I think what I was really like, oh, shit, like this kid is like the real deal. It was... I'm, I'm blocking my guy, and I see him let go of the ball. And Devin Fuller, I think, is on the sideline, and the DB is real close to him, and he throws like a curveball. Like, I'm like, this is incomplete. And he just curves at the end, and it hits him straight in his hands, and I was just like, all right, all right, yeah, all right, bro. whatever, bro. I was like, yeah. I was like, all right, Josh, whatever, bro, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, but he's special. So. Would you say this is the best day, including practice or spring scrimmage or any time, the best day of? Seeing Rose and Eve ever seen. Definitely, you? definitely. Because I think we finally just were able to just kind of let it go, you know? He was able to let it go. Because when we do um, practice, is so structured, so you can never really tell, you know, how good somebody is. I mean, you can, but it's hard to, you know? But in a game where everything, the rules are flying and he's reacting, I think, you know, he, he, he did a really good job of being on When did it seem like Virginia's defense stopped in really stacking against the run? I think after about the fifth deep ball, we decided that maybe they should probably back off a little bit, and then we just started gashing in the run game. So it was it was a good day for us. Elder just called him Chosen Rosen. Is that the nickname for him now? Or? Jay Chosen, Chosen Rosen, whatever you want to call him, the Rosen one. I mean, there's plenty of them. Whatever you want to call him, man, he's a great player, and I'm I'm glad that he did what he did today. Thank you.